Hi guys, today I thought I would film a Royal Aquitaine update. It is way overdue and I've been meaning to do it for ages and I just haven't done it. Um, so basically I'm at week 40 and 4 days and this is my skin. I should just zoom you in, shouldn't I? So as you can see, I have these ones here on my cheek. And they are honestly, that's like a mole and it looks like more. And this is just a scar. This is probably at its final stages of healing. I have this one which I picked at the other night and I'm so angry because it was nothing and now I've made it something. And then I have one up here that's a pretty deep scar. So obviously I have a lot of scarring but honestly I can put my makeup on now and have clear skin. So you've got that big scar there, all that scarring in that one, and then all that, these are scars, that's like a mole with a scar on it, and that one's basically nearly all gone. Ah, oh, stupid remote. <laughs> okay, so that is my skin at the moment. I have a dermatologist appointment on Monday, which is two days away. And um, obviously I'll see what she has to say, but I don't think she'll have much to say because basically this is really the only scarring, it's no active thing, but it wasn't even a pimple. I was just picking at some dry skin and with the roll Acutane, your skin is very thin, so you make a scab really easily. So I've only got myself to blame for that one. Um, I'm still using the La Roche-Posay um, treatment combo that I showed in my previous video which is still working amazingly for me. One thing I must say I have noticed in, since my last video is my dermatologist told me that I don't need to use moisturiser but I have really found I notice a difference in my skin when I do use moisturiser. Um, when I had all these ones really big and active and this one that was really big and active it just always seemed to be really dry and I would sit there and I would play with it and then when I used the moisturiser I just it, it it wasn't like that dry and I wasn't tempted to pick at it all the time so I think it's important to use moisturiser obviously do what your dermatologist tells you but maybe be willing to kind of go outside that a little bit as well. Not not go against them, but be willing to try things like moisturiser even when they say not to because I have found it makes a huge difference. So I am back to using my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturiser Plus. I don't quite like the Plus as much as the original, but they don't sell the original anymore. Um, but... I use that but only at night so I'll put the duo um, La Roche-Posay duo cream on I'll let that sink in and fully dry and then I will put on um, the Cl Clinique moisturizer on my face and then because I have really sensitive eyes I've got to be careful what I put on them so the last couple of weeks I've been putting last couple of weeks probably last week but I had a sample that I used for a week or two as well which made me want to buy it, is the Elizabeth Arden eight hour moisture cream and it could be used for so many different things. It's really completely worth it. And is it just me or has Priceline always stocked Elizabeth Arden? Because I only found it in the store about a week ago. And, you know, I went to the counter to buy this Elizabeth Arden cream and they had it and they gave me a sample. But it was like 70 or 80 bucks and I'm like, I don't want to spend that much. And then I brought the cream for $8, no, $8, oh my God, $25 in Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Arden. Oh my God, can you tell it's really late at night because I can't even speak. Um, I brought the Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream at Priceline for $25. So I was more than happy with that. So yeah, sorry it's only a short one. This is my skin as it stands. I am really happy with it um, from where I've come to this. I know to a lot of people this is probably bad, but I'm over the moon with it and I'm really happy with the way it looks. So, yeah, if you've got any comments or questions, please don't be afraid to leave them below. I love answering them. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these videos and if you haven't already subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye.